Whenever we see a new product at eFix, we always like to ask the question, what problem does this product solve? So what problem does the Thermino from Sunamp solve? Well, you may be in a situation where currently you're heating your home with gas and maybe a few years ago you were convinced that a combi boiler was the way to go. So you removed that big water cylinder, that storage tank from inside your airing cupboard there. You decided you were going to use that as a spare bedroom now. And all of a sudden now you're being told that if you want to go over to a heat pump system for your energy needs and your heating needs, then you're going to have to get a cylinder put back in again. Now, of course, the challenge is that takes up an awful lot of space in your property and you probably want to avoid doing that. So the Thermino from Sunamp helps you to avoid having to put in an enormous hot water cylinder tank and losing all of that space that you've freed up. So what it is basically is a storage system for heat for your hot water. And it works in a very, very clever way using what's called a phase change material. Now we'll get into that a little bit later in the video, but let's just explain the basic principle at this point. So let's have a think about how this system actually works. Up at the top here, you can see you've got a system of inlet and outlet pipes. And up here, you're gonna bring in your hot water from your heating system. That's most likely to be a heat pump if you're interested in installing one of these systems. So the hot water from the heat pump comes in through a pipe, it passes through the network of pipes that's inside here, and it transfers its heat into the phase change material that this is completely filled up with. That heat is then stored inside that phase change material in a really, really efficient way. It's an interesting point that at the point where a material changes from a solid into a liquid, that's a point where heat storage and heat transformation, heat generation is really, really at its most effective and its most efficient, which is why that's used inside here. Now that phase change material is really good at storing the heat. It's better at storing the heat than water, which is why this can be so much smaller than the traditional hot water cylinder. Once the uh, hot water has passed through the system, it will go back out to the heat pump to regenerate the heat and go through that system again, and the heat is left behind in here. Then when you want to draw off that hot water for, say, uh, a shower or for the washing up or something like that, again, we have a cold feed in, the water passes through another manifold that's inside here, and the heat transfers from the phase change material back into the water again. Now, of course, if you've got a heat pump on your property, then it's very possible that you've also got PV panels on your roof. Now, at the moment, if you're uh, generating more electricity with your PV panels than you're currently using, maybe your batteries are full, a classic way of using that excess energy is simply to put it into the traditional hot water cylinder to heat your water up for your house. Well, this can be used in exactly the same way because buried down in the bottom of the tank here is just a traditional immersion heater. So you can take that excess electricity from your PV panels and you can use it to heat up the phase change material in here, which then will get that up to a nice hot temperature, which means again, when you want to use the water for your shower or your washing up or whatever your needs are, you've got hot water that has also been generated by green technology. Now, another good thing about this system is that it comes in different sizes. So this tank here would actually replace a hot water cylinder of a size 300 litres, which would stand pretty much taller than me. So you can really see the benefits of the compact sizing here. In addition to that, they can also be combined together to give you even more storage should you need it. Now, speaking of storage, one of the problems with water storage is uh, Legionella, and that can occur where water doesn't get to a hot enough temperature to kill that bacteria and of course we know that can cause nasty diseases so the real benefit of this as well is that there is no water stored in here which means that there's no risk of legionella developing inside there which means that you don't have to heat it up to the same high temperatures as we currently do in order to kill that bacteria now i just want to talk a little bit about this phase change material that's inside these tanks it operates a little bit like these hand warmers that you may have come across so inside here there's a solution of sodium acetate and what happens is that this little metal disc inside here is bent in such a way that when i trigger that it causes crystallization of this material in other words it changes the state of the material so let's do that now and you can see that that's triggered the crystallization of the material that's inside there. Now obviously you can't feel this part, but what's happening is that that is now starting to give off a significant amount of heat. And it just really nicely demonstrates the fact that when you change the state of a material, you change the amount of energy that it's either absorbing or giving off. And that's exactly what's happening 
inside the tank. Now, having looked at the material inside that hand warmer, you're probably thinking, well, I'm not sure I want this in my home filled with nasty chemicals, but that material that's inside the hand warmer and the material that goes inside here is basically salt and vinegar, if you can believe it. It's actually, the material that's inside here is a food grade substance, which means that it is completely neutral. It's not gonna harm humans at all. And it means that at the end of life, every bit of this can be reused, recycled, or disposed of without harming the environment in any way. With its energy efficiency and its compact size, which, let's face it, could go inside a kitchen covered in certain circumstances, we think this is an absolute game changer of a product. But as always, we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts? What are your questions on this product? Please leave those in the comments section below. And please also keep an eye out for future content by hitting the subscribe button and don't forget to turn your notifications on. And if you could hit a like for this video, we'd be really grateful. All that remains is to say, thank you very much for watching.